What's up, y'all? Master P. Dot back with another video. I'm back with my 2020 draft picks, and this time it's featuring offensive linemen, whether it's an offensive tackle or offensive guard, or whether they can play both. So, um, let me get on to it. My first pick is Makai Becton, coming out of Louisville. He is an offensive tackle. He play on the right side. But he could play on the left side as well. He could play on both sides. He is six foot seven, three hundred and sixty-nine pounds. And he runs a five point sixty. What I like about this guy, he has a great size, he has a great height, he has great coverage, he has great strength. He is a, a good blocker. He is good at protecting, he's good at blocking, he's good at coverages. And I will pick him as my first choice. Because he should be at least a good backup for Andre Dillard. Because Jason Peters, like he should move, we should move on from him. So Andre Dillard, he needs a backup, somebody to back him up, just in case if he goes down this next coming season. So he's my first choice. Andre Dillard needs a backup on the left side. So he's my first choice. My next one is Yasir Durant. Coming out of Missouri, he is six foot seven, three hundred and thirty pounds. He runs a five point forty eight. Now, he's my second one. He is good at blocking. He's good at cover covering. He is good at protecting. And I choose him because he could be another one that could back up Andre Dillard. Or he can be another backup for Lane Johnson just in case and, um, Jordan Malata don't stay healthy. Because if he, Jordan Malata don't stay healthy for the third season in a row and make it to the regular season, his ass going to be out of here. And we don't want to see that potential and uh, talent waste. So he's my second one. Yeah, I see Durant. He has good amount size. He has a good height to him. He's good at blocking. He's good at protecting. He's good at covering. Somebody that can block and protect for Carson Wentz. Like, cause we need to get younger on the offensive line. He can play on both sides as well. If he wants to, if he chooses to. My third one is Lucas Niang. Coming out of TCU. If I pronounce his last name, comment below. If I, um, if I pronounce the wrong comment below. So it was um Lucas Neyang coming out of TCU. He is six foot seven, two no, three hundred and twenty eight pounds. Excuse me. He runs a five point thirty. And I choose him because he's good at blocking, he's good at covering, he's good at protecting. But um he has um a difficult time like blocking one of the um defensive tackles. So um but he has a good size to him, so um, I say he should be um, he should be a better blocker on um, on um, I believe on the left side as well. I mean, I say on the right side as well, but more so of the right side. So he should be another one that could be um, another backup for Lane Johnson as well, or Andre Dillard. Who knows? So he's my third choice. My fourth one is Brandon Bowen coming out of Ohio State. He is six foot seven, three hundred and forty five pounds, and he runs a five point sixty. What I like about him, he can play offensive tackle and an offensive guard. We need somebody like that. That can play both positions on the offensive line. He can play tackle and he can play guard. He is good at blocking. He's good at protecting. He's good at covering. He's good in run blockings too. Or pass blocking. He can run downfield and blind one of the linebackers or the safeties. As long as the like, running backs run behind him and he can block, he can like block and run them over. So I like him. Uh, I mean I like this pick too. So um and he can back up Brandon Brooks. Because Brandon Brooks, he needs a backup too. Besides um Matt Pryor. 
he could be another backup too, an offensive guard. So um, he's another one. And my last choice is Calvin Throckmorton, coming out of Oregon. He is six foot five, three hundred and eighteen pounds, and he runs a five point eighteen. And he plays offensive tackle or offensive guard. He's another one. He's my last pick because he is one of the fastest. He is one of the fastest offensive linemen in the league. So that's why I choose him. For this size to run a 5.18, that's pretty much fast for a big guy. And I would like that. I would like to have somebody like that. He can like do run blocks, pass blocks. He can do all of that. And he can play on both sides like in two positions. So he's another one. He is my last choice that the Eagles should draft and pick up. <clears throat> and those are my five picks that the Eagles should draft in this year's pick. Mekhi Becton, Yasir Durant, Lucas Neong, Brandon Bowen, and Calvin Throckmorton. Those are my top five picks of the offensive line that the Philadelphia Eagles should pick up and draft to block and cover for Carson Wentz. If y'all like my picks, comment below. If y'all like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next one. And I'm out.